If I could be honest, For Honor was a game I wasn't originally interested in. Not because it was made by Ubisoft or anything like that, but just because I wasn't sold on my concept of Legendary Warriors fighting for Honor and Glory. I honestly thought it was just another gimmick game, so I skipped on it. And if I can be honest, I will say a few things that I would like to make clear. I say I was a fool for skipping on this game. I say I missed out on probably the peak of its popularity of this game, and I definitely tossed a hidden gem. For Honor's a uh, great PvE PvP game that puts you up against a team of four against another team of four where players control warriors such as the Samurai, the Viking, the Knight, and I believe the Shaolin. Later, the pirate class was added and that's really good that we get to get more factions added onto the game. Uh, as I stated before, all these players they fight for their death and a brutal glory. For Honor's is such a meaty game, you can feel the slashes and the thumbs of swords of Bushido and the Vikings, you can feel the dread and the, the pride of each, each class. The immersion this game delivers is seriously unique, it fully impacts on how you win fights. It's just so satisfying knowing that I defeated a good player by outsmarting them, or in most cases getting lucky. For Honor is an unforgiving but very rewarding. One cat with excellent moving, the executions are always excellent and fun to look at, and the tone of the game always has me rooting for myself, even the warrior player that I'm blowing up against. And just fighting for the death of my land just brings in that much more immersion. You can fully customize your appearance of your warrior by playing multiple matches in which you can unlock items for your warrior, like blades, clothing, and color colors to make them stand out more. It's not too in depth, but I would like to see a passable customization feature if there was to make another for Ana. For Ana is a game I'm very happy I picked up and recently I highly recommend that those who are on the fence about the game to don't be. The player base is still in live and kicking. I can find matches pretty quickly or you can find communities you can help learn the game. You can play with PC players and if you're a console player you can you know do it vice versa. Definitely give this game a try. If it goes on sale often see it. This game always goes on sale, especially on Steam. Sometimes you can find a basic uh, for Iron game for uh, $6 or if you want to get everything included. It's usually like $14 when it does go on sale. Right now it's about $100 for everything. So there's definitely a good sale that you guys don't want to skip out on. Definitely get this game when it goes on sale. If you see it, definitely. Get it.